Excitement is building as new details emerge about the Galaxy S25 series, especially with Samsung's intriguing internal codename for its next premium flagship, Paradigm sparking curiosity and anticipation among tech enthusiasts. As reported by our colleagues at Galaxy Club, Samsung has internally codenamed the Galaxy S25 series as Paradigm. For reference, the Galaxy S23 was codenamed Diamond, while the Galaxy S24 was known as Eureka, highlighting the company's tradition of using impactful and symbolic names for its flagship line. The new Galaxy S25 Ultra Geekbench entry, uploaded today, reveals a significant boost in CPU performance. Since its last appearance in August, Samsung's next flagship seems to have gained some extra power. A new Geekbench entry for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, uploaded today, shows increased CPU frequencies for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip. All CPU cores are now running at a higher performance level than previously reported. More specifically, the latest Galaxy S25 Ultra Geekbench test shows a base frequency of 3.53 GHz for six CPU cores, up from 2.78 GHz, and an impressive 4.47 GHz for the dual-core cluster, an increase from 4.09 GHz. As expected, this new performance test for the Galaxy S25 Ultra with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset deliver higher Geekbench scores. While synthetic benchmarks aren't always the best indicators of real-world performance, these results give us a glimpse of the impact of the chip's higher CPU frequencies. According to this latest benchmark, the Galaxy S25 Ultra scored 3,011 points in the single-core test and 9,706 points in the multi-core test. In comparison, its previous scores were 2,884 for single-core and 8,840 for multi-core tests. The Samsung Galaxy S24 series, though poised as one of 2024's top smartphones, feels disjointed in its design across the lineup, but there's a growing sense of excitement and anticipation that the Galaxy S25 series will finally bring the cohesive, unified look fans have been craving. Leaker Ice Universe has stirred excitement by sharing an image of what seem to be Galaxy S25 dummy units, which looks surprisingly convincing. Even though these are likely mock-up models, considering the phones aren't expected until early next year, the image teases some intriguing details that have already sparked curiosity among fans. The photo, though only reveal in the front of the phones, confirms rumors that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will shift away from the sharp corners of its predecessors, embracing softer curves akin to the base and plus models. This change brings a more consistent look to the Ultra within the lineup instead of it standing apart with a distinctly different design. While the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus largely resemble their predecessors, rumors hint that they might be slightly shorter, slimmer, and narrower. Although the dummy units don't confirm it, there's speculation that all three models could feature textured camera rings. The units do, however, suggest the possibility of thinner bezels, which aligns with recent leaks and adds to the excitement surrounding the design refinements. Although the Galaxy S25 Ultra seems to share flat sides with the other two models, it's rumored to have an asymmetric design, a feature that hasn't been clearly shown in any leaks so far. This shift is anticipated to enhance ergonomics, making the Ultra more comfortable to hold while maintaining its premium feel. The standout feature in the leaked image is undoubtedly the thinner bezels, which lend the phones a much sleeker and more modern appearance. The unified design across all models is another welcome enhancement, bringing a greater sense of harmony to the Galaxy S25 lineup. Samsung's Galaxy S25 series is set to launch with Android 15-based One UI 7, showcasing the latest software features. Interestingly, some models might be powered by a MediaTek Dimensity chip, following reports that the Exynos 2500 has been dropped due to production issues. This shift in chipset could lead to performance variations within the lineup, adding another layer of anticipation for the release. That is for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.